During Heritage Week, we've toured historic houses as well as protected civic buildings. Today, we tour a piece of architecture that's in a category unto itself. The church on the Shelley Reserve has stood tall amongst years of worship and theft. The Claydley Tenay have mixed feelings on the Catholic Church, but not about the building. An expensive refurbishment is needed to restore it to its former glory, but it's one the band is willing to fight for. It stands as it did 100 years ago on the Shelley Reserve, if with a little less splendor. For Barry Seymour, opening its doors unlocks memories of the past. I, I can remember the, the two distinct sounds of the bell. So the bell would, would uh, they would ring the bell. The Catholic Church hasn't rung its bell since they were stolen decades ago, and there hasn't been a mass here in years. It was used, uh, I think the last time it was used was in uh, uh, the, the 1980s was the last time it was used. Uh, the last people married in it is uh, the current chief, Dominic Frederick. Walking through the church, it's impossible not to notice its disrepair or its beauty. All the metal work on the roof, uh, eaves and so on, was brought in, I believe, from Quebec. And the church featured stained glass windows and these windows have been preserved and I understand that there's a movement now to have the church refurbished and perhaps put the windows back in. Seymour wants the windows back to restore the church to its former glory, but it won't be easy. The windows themselves will cost approximately $100,000 to, to refurbish, um, but they're, they're absolutely beautiful. In 2002, the Claylee Tenay undertook a feasibility study to see how much it would cost to completely refurbish the church. That would include replacing all the artifacts stolen over the years. Thieves left only one statue. In today's dollars, we're, we're guesstimating it could be anywhere from 750000 to a million dollars. It depends on how far we want to go with the restoration. The issue has now gone before the elders to decide how far to take the restoration, but it's up to everyone in Shelley to embrace it. It's part of our history. A lot of people in the community have mixed feelings because of the, um, uh, the issues surrounding the Catholic Church involved with our community. It's not always positive. We cannot change that part of our history, so we might as well... Um, uh, embrace it and refurbish it and uh, utilize it and use it in explanation to uh, our, our youth. The past 100 years in the church have been filled with celebrations, funerals, heartbreak and joy. Barry Seymour takes the good with the bad and he's not willing to say goodbye, not yet. Kelly Lanahan, CKPG News.